Welcome to your new home, Leafy. Now you'll have room to stretch your roots and grow up tall. Do you think he'll be lonely out here on his own? We can come back and visit any time, Boulder. Plus, after today, Leafy will have lots of friends. Griffin Rock's Plant a Tree Day promises to be better than ever. Because this year he won't give a three-hour speech? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to my tireless efforts and uh, your taxes, may I present our town's newest tech, the Power Planter. With this machine to do the dirty work, we can keep our hands clean for more important things. <laughs> What's not important about spending time with nature? to do all that planting. Pretty noble. Right, Boulder? I guess. But how do those trees know they're loved that they're never touched or talked to? It takes a living thing to care for other living things. Today on I Dare Me, I'm here with a new power planter. My notes say it's programmed to avoid all heat sources. Let's find out. Have it, folks, 100% safe. And a very short episode. Mr. Mayor, can we wrap this up? Looks like a storm's on the way. Now relax, Chief. Trees love rain. Thing need new batteries already? <laughs> Get to safety, Mr. Mayor. We'll handle this. Uh, well, if you're sure you don't need me, Chief. <laughs> Danny, Kate, clear the area. Graham, see if you can manually shut off that planter. Hey, crab hands, plant this! Leafy! Maybe you're not ready for the outdoors yet. It's dangerous out here. I think I see what caused the power planner's strange behavior. If the lightning had struck anywhere else, it would have simply shut off the machine. But the blast hit here, compromising the planner's central processing unit. And that is... The system's Achilles' heel. Which actually means less to me. That's a bad thing. So with its programming scrambled, maybe the planner will just stay underground. There's a high probability. And that's a good thing. We'll keep a close eye on the park for the next few days. 
With any luck, we've seen the last of that power planter. Ah, finally. A well-earned break from the demands of office. Give that back! This hair is spoken for! Yeah. Slow down, Mayor Lusky. Your backyard is being overrun by what kind of animals? Uh, maybe those kind? If that's a migration pattern, it sure is a strange one. Especially since those animals don't normally migrate. Hang tight, Mayor. I've got another call coming in. Badger's eating your fruit stand. We'll, we'll see to it. Hold, please. Groundhogs and porcupines? Better get to your bots, team. Apparently Noah's Ark just docked in Griffin Rock. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! <laughs> Does his alarmed response mean six more weeks of winter, sir? I believe the groundhogs have to see their own shadow chase. Let's round them up. <laughs> this is like that game at the arcade. I assure you, sir, I am deriving no amusement from this. <laughs> Perhaps a little. Where'd you say the porcupine was, Cody? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I'll let you handle this one, bud. My pleasure. Oh, it likes me. Sure, that's what that is. What are we looking for again? Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> oh, so you want to play dirty, huh? I'm stuck! Heat wave! Hold on, I'll get you out. You might want to hold your nose. Why? Ah! <laughs> Thanks, partner. At least now you're clean. I still don't understand. Isn't sitting in boiling water sort of like making soup out of yourself? It's called a hot tub, Blades. And if you don't get that, please don't ask me to explain saunas. Okay, Cody, the mayor's yard is clear of critters. What's next? Let's see. Whoa, hold on. Uh, I could do some help here. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. And I know scary. Not sure how long I can keep him out, guys. Can you hurry? We're on it, Cody. Blades, fly close. Your downdraft should shoo those bugs away. How close is close? All those twitchy legs and feet? Creepy. They'll be a lot creepier if they get inside the firehouse. When you're right, you're right. All clear, Cody. Those bugs will probably be a lot happier on the ground anyhow. But why did they leave it in the first place? Thanks, Virginia. The zookeeper is releasing the animals back into the wild. Hopefully this time they'll stay there. Porcupines, ants, groundhogs, badgers, they have to have something in common. Yeah, they all ruin my day. Well, each of the species can live in underground burrows and nests. Underground? That's where the power planter went. You think it scared the animals out of their homes? How? By planting trees in them? With the machine's programming fried, its behavior is totally unpredictable. We need to find that planter before it does something dangerous. Finally, a chance to enjoy my hot tub in peace. Oh, oh, it's cold! <laughs> my water heater! 
But how? Huh? That's strange. Chief Burns, I need you at my house immediately. It's an emergency. Mr. Mayor, I know that badgers in your backyard are a nuisance, but... Don't let this overgrown garden tool eat me! I think we found the power planter. Let's move! Stop, please! I've always been nice to lawnmowers! Stay calm, Mr. Mayor. Power up and energize! <laughs> Mr. Mayor, that planter doesn't stand a chance. Uh, where is it? <sighs> Underground again. Then can somebody get me down? Careful! Relax, Mr. Mayor. We've had plenty of practice with Mr. Pettipaws. And I thought hot tubs were supposed to be relaxing. Looks like the insides of the mayor's water heater are gone. A violation of code 651A in an elected official's own backyard. Just when you think you have seen everything. From the pincer marks on this metal, I'd say the power planner is our thief. Hmm, strange that the planner would be drawn to a heat source. Or maybe not strange at all. What makes you say that, Cody? There's a pattern. So far, we've seen the power planter tear up trees instead of planting them. Now, it's going after heat sources instead of away from them. It's doing the opposite of what it's supposed to. Oh, the lightning must have reversed the machine's programming. This is great. If we know the planner is after heat sources, we can set a trap to catch it. But the island's full of hot spots. We're heat sources. Yeah, for all we know, the planner's beneath us right now. Uh, wouldn't Boulder be able to detect that with his sonar? It doesn't work well on moving objects, but we could measure ground vibrations with a seismograph. That's a... Uh... I know what a seismograph is. Sorta. Of. Cody, pull up a map of the warmest locations on Griffin Rock. The power plant is bound to show up at one of them. We'll split up and keep watch. I can feel the heat from over here. And if I can feel it, the planter can feel it. And if the planter can feel it... Just watch your seismograph, Blades. I think I got something. I got something! What is it? It's huge! Oh no! It's multiplied! Wait... Those might be cows. Yep, it's cows. Yep, this is definitely where the planter's going to show up. How can you be so sure? It's looking for heat, right? Well, the hottest thing on the island is right here. Ew. Stay alert, everyone. We're getting a reading over here. Chase, grab the planter! Cease and desist all gardening activity! You are assaulting an officer of the law! <laughs> Your litany of offenses is uh, being meticulously recorded. Mmm, uh. smell. 
that sauce. The rib smoker is heated up and ready for the PTA to dish out delicious. Uh-oh. Dad, a new heat source just popped up. There's a barbecue going on at the school. Call the school and warn them. Chase and I are tailing the planter now. Got it, Dad. Come on, somebody pick up. Huxley. Huxley Prescott here. I'm busy delivering the hard-hitting news you crave. Leave a message. Uh, there has to be some way to warn them. Cody, we've lost the planter. Do you see anything on the cameras? Uh, I'm not at the command center right now, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I didn't think there was any other way to warn the school. According to my readings, Cody should be right underneath us. Boulder, smash in and grab him. Not yet. But the seismograph says... Patience. It takes a living thing to take care of a living thing. Look, buddy, I trust your instincts, but... Now! <sighs> Thanks, Boulder. <laughs> I'll never doubt you again. Cody, are you okay? I'm way better than Rolling Thunder, Dad. A go-kart we can fix. I'm done taking risks. Time to bring the heat to the planter. Doc Green created these boil coils to superheat water. When we turn them on, we'll be the perfect planter bait. Why do I need a boil coil? I'm just air support. The more heat we have in one spot, the faster we'll get the planner's attention. You say that like it's a good thing. Yes, Mr. Mayor, your hot tub will have to stay cold for now. Trust me, it'll be worth it. All the heat sources in town have been shut off. Activate the boil coils, team. Ooh, I'm all warm and fuzzy inside. Well, more warm than fuzzy. This must be what Chief means when he complains of mm, the heartburn. The planner better show up fast. Even I'm getting hot here. Dad, I'm getting a reading. All right, team. We're a go. Burns's get to cover. Bots, be on the ready. Either that's a really big gopher or... Rescue bots, initiate phase one. Let's uproot this planner. Formation vehicle mode. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue. Ready for phase two, guys. Chase and Boulder, fall back. We're turning off your coils now. Finish him off, Heat Wave. 
bring that scoundrel to justice. With pleasure. Looks like it takes a living thing to take care of malfunctioning tech, too. There. That should keep you safe. Guess the power planner is good for something after all. Remember, Leafy, this isn't goodbye. It's see you later. <coughs> there, that should do it. Thanks, Dad. I bet now Rolling Thunder's faster than ever. Something I can help you with, Mr. Mayor? Uh, yes, I, I, I was... Wondering if it's all right for me to use my hot tub yet. I'd prefer to have my team of experts check it out first. Just to make sure everything's safe. Of course, of course, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, over, turn on the bubbles. We have to Those get one of these at the firehouse. Marco! Next time I'm getting an indoor spa. <sighs> no, no, stay back! Ah, covered!